guys. So today we are going to create a page together. Um, not a full blown page, but I want to show you how to do a page. And we have new options for those of you who do not know that yet, have not discovered it yet. We have now the option to add buttons for payments, which is amazing. And we also have other things that we can do, like adding our phone number, our email, et cetera, et cetera. So I am going to go ahead and jump right in it. Uh, let's do the screen share. Okay, perfect. So here we go. This is my board. Everybody has access to my boards. I am not a very private person. I want to help you all for inspiration. So if even if you're not with Sensi and you're with another direct sales, you can still copy what I'm using, be inspired, use some of my templates, et cetera, et cetera. It is totally fine. I am here for you. So um, we are going to create a page together. So up in the right-hand corner, I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see folder, page. If you've watched some of my other trainings, you guys already know what all these things are. I'm going to click on page. So what I really like about the desktop setting is that you, you can't, it doesn't look like this on your phone. But whenever you make it from a desktop and I am editing and adding things like here over on the left hand side, like your headline text, image, videos, things like that. I like how over on the right hand side, you have what it will look like on your phone. I really like that because a lot of times when I'm on my phone, I'm like I'm hitting done just to go back and see what it looks like to see if that's what I like. So um, we are going to go ahead and do some uploading. Um, uh, a lot of you guys already know this um, when it comes to creating a page, we I like to have pretty. I'm a very visual person. I like to have visual um, things, things that pop. So what I've done is I've gone to Canva and I have created images so I can upload them and make them pretty. I like color. I like dimension. I like things that pop. So here's a photo here. I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple things um, just for the sake of um, you guys getting what different reasons you can use your pages for. I liked the purple text. So again, I used Canva and I'm uploading as an image and a photo. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Boom, it is there. And one more thing uh, that I personally do is my headlines. I like them to be in color and I like different fonts. So again, I created this on Canva and made it an image so that way I can have it look pretty, okay? So here's what, what I'm gonna do for the page and then um, uh, go from there. If you look over here, you can do, and I'm going to show you what a regular headline would look like. So we're going to do wax and warmers. So that way you can see the difference between what I've done. See there, what I've done versus the Canva um picture that you could do. So the options that you can do with pages is endless. You can do whatever you want. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. This is just what I prefer. Text, if I was going to text, I'm going to write hello there and um, hit done. See how it just has the text there, whereas up here, I have it looking purple. So you could do it whatever way you want. That's just what I do. You already know uh, image is these photos that I've uploaded. You can do a video. I don't have a video handy for you to upload to show you exactly how to do that. But as you're scrolling through your page, you can upload your video of whatever it is that you want. If it's to guide them somewhere, tell them about a product, whatever it is, you can have that there for them. But the new feature and the reason why I'm making this video for you is that there is a new button. And before you were only able to add links and now you can add links from all kinds of things and you can see our options here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip down. Let's do email so I can show you. Um, I'm going to add my email here. And hit done. 
And as you can see, it says, send me an email. And so when they click this, it is going to take them right to the email for them to be able to reach out to you. Love that. I absolutely love that. Before I was taking them to a different page that had all my information um, that I had plugged in, but now um, Boris has made it easier for your customers. Phone number, you can type in your phone number. Done. It says, call me. Very cute. I really like this. And another thing you can do is payment options. You have PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. So you can turn around and add your, let's see if I remember this. Um, let's see, Venmo.com, Venmo.com. This may, I don't, I may not have remembered this. I forgot to write it down so I can show you. We hit done and boom, it says pay with Venmo. So very cool new options we have. This is great for when you have pre-orders, things that are launching, you can send this to your customer uh, instead of having to um, go through the motions of going to your apps and copying and pasting and sending it through Messenger or however it was that you were doing it to collect payments. You can now cut all that out send them this link to boards and then they can pay you, call you, reach out to you through this page. Absolutely love it. If you have any questions whatsoever about how to do this, please reach out, um, let me know. I can help you through it. But the options of this is endless. There's so many different things that you can do. My mind is just turning of all, we have a launch coming out here in a couple of days. I'm going to be making some pages to send to my customers. I also do other things that I am super excited about using these buttons with because this is going to save me time. This is going to save me time so I don't have to um, copy and paste and go to the apps and send a messenger and wait for a reply. I can just do a one-stop shop, send it to them, let them figure out how they want to pay me, give them all the options and boom. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.